Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Here is my morning routine as a fit mom with two toddlers. Every Monday to Friday, I wake up at about 4.55 a.m. to get a little bit of extra quiet time to myself. It's been extremely challenging to wake up in the winter months, especially since the sun doesn't rise until about 8.30 here in Calgary. I always start my morning with my skincare routine and don't come at me about the way I wash my face. I didn't realize how ridiculous it looked until I filmed myself. Going in with my vitamin C serum every morning to wake up my skin a little bit, just just adding a couple drops and pressing it into my skin. I've noticed the biggest change in my skin texture since using vitamin C serum. And if you're interested in my skincare routine, like and subscribe because that content will be coming at you shortly. Applying sunscreen every day, even in the winter time. Fun fact, I live here in Calgary, Alberta, where it is one of the sunniest cities in Canada and we get about 300 plus sunny days out of the year which is insane my workout of choice has been going to that 45 in my neighborhood so today i'm going to my usual 6 a.m class and it's my favorite day because it's leg day today now the key to a successful morning workout is preparation so the night before it's really important to be preparing setting out the clothes that you're going to wear so you're not scrambling in the morning you can also set out your supplements i also prep my overnight oats that i eat in the morning you can even go as far as to leave your keys and jacket by the door I made the mistake of not leaving my keys by the door one time and I was scrambling at about 5 45 in the morning and I found them in my husband's jeans pocket in the hamper so that was super fun doing my overnight heatless curls using socks letting them set just adding a little bit of water before I go to bed and hopefully the result in the morning turns out okay so taking out my heatless curls now I don't always do my hair for the gym especially on cardio days I don't like my hair in my face when I'm, you know, during burpees or that type of thing. So usually for a weight day, I will do my hair because there isn't a lot of time between when I get home and my kids wake up for me to get ready. Well, here you can see the heatless curls turned out great. And today is a leg day, so I'll be able to hopefully maintain this. Putting on my gym outfit that I took out the night before, always making sure I smell great, going in with a little bit of body spray, never wanting to use heavy perfume when you're going to the gym. Now I have black eyelashes so I like to put just a little bit of castor oil on my eyelashes just to nourish them while I'm at the gym. I come down and it is it is chilly in my house. It's 19 and a half degrees Celsius, a little, probably a little bit warmer than some of you guys keep your house at night but I like to keep it a little bit warmer for my toddlers. But I was frozen here so I made myself a cup of tea, ate my overnight oats, to make sure that I have just a little bit of energy for my workout and I like to have something in my stomach before I go in with my pre-workout. So that's what you see me mixing here. This is a blue raspberry flavor from Revolution Nutrition. It's amazing. And then I have my EAAs that I put in my shaker that I'm gonna take to F45 with me. So getting that all prepped. Now the pre-workout tastes amazing, but I actually cut it with ice cold water and that's why you see me struggling here. After I checked this, decided to grab a sweater because I was so chilly. So this one is just from Amazon. And then I started to do a little bit of stretching to prepare for leg day. Those of you that do group fitness know that there isn't a huge warm up before the start of class, whether it's spin, Orange Theory, F45. Especially for leg day, I wanna make sure that my legs are nice and stretched out. A couple extra seconds to drink my tea. And then I start pounding my tea because I realize it is time to get going. Now there's a cold snap in Calgary and it is minus 44 degrees Celsius. Yes, that is right. This Lululemon long puffer jacket has been a game changer for me. It's basically like walking around in a giant sleeping bag, which I love. Grabbing my gym bag, getting all suited up, ready to go. And this is what minus 44 degrees Celsius looks like. It is absolutely freezing. Make it to the gym by about 549, pulling up to F45, running into the door. And this is my favorite part. I am trying to stuff my Lululemon puffer into the tiny cubby right before our workout starts. Putting on my favorite trainers on. I love these because they provide me with a lot of stability for leg day. You can see that I'm getting a really good leg day in. I'm having a lot of fun. And if you watch to the end of the video, you can see why I decided to move to group fitness versus going to a public gym. 
I really, really admire anyone that's motivated enough to go to the gym and go work out on their own, but I feel like I just can't do it. I need someone to tell me what to do and how long to do it for. My kids and husband are still sleeping here, so I'm definitely lucky that my husband is not a morning person and prefers to work out in the evening, so he is home in the morning when I head to F45. You can see for 6 a.m. the gym is packed. The energy is really, really high, even though it is so cold outside. People showed up, so this is why I love morning workouts and getting them out of the way. It's so nice having the trainers at F45 push me by adding weights and correcting my form. Lifting really heavy weights has really changed my body composition, but of course I do eat quite a bit of protein as well to help build and maintain my muscle. I get my car started to make sure it starts in the cold. Heading home, I'm really lucky to only live a couple minutes from the gym, so it makes it super convenient. I noticed that my kids were still sleeping, so I just shoveled a little bit because I wanna make sure that my walkway is clear for any delivery drivers that come today. Mixing up my protein, getting a quick stretch in, and then I heard my son turn his bedroom light on, so went upstairs, saw him reading in his chair. So cute, love seeing his smile. And as I get my kids ready for preschool, I'm just checking out to see my glute pump. Okay, so it's the end of my workday now and I'm heading out soon to pick up my tots from preschool. I really wanted to come on here and talk about why I prefer group fitness versus going to a public gym. I did have a gym membership for many, many years in my 20s. I had a really hard time staying motivated to go. There were so many excuses. I was a student, then I was in university. I couldn't go in the morning because I had morning classes, or I couldn't go in the evening because I had to study. It just wasn't something that I enjoyed doing. Going to the gym, trying to follow a workout routine, pushing myself to the limits, and then that's kind of how I fell into group fitness. I started with hot yoga classes and I found myself being really motivated going to hot yoga and then I found spin. I fell in love with spin and I actually was a spin instructor for a couple of years and I really, really enjoyed it. And now as you saw in the video, I go to F45. I love it. I truly am so excited to go every morning and that's how I know I found something that is for me. Now hear me out. I know group fitness memberships are much more expensive than a membership to a public gym. However, Many years ago when I was trying to justify the cost of it, I decided if I did go, you know, five to six times a week, then it was worth the expense. For Maybe this is a little bit too much for somebody, but that keeps me motivated to continue going. Not only that, but because I go at 6 a.m. every morning, I register the night before. Because I've registered for the class, if I don't show up in the morning, I actually get charged a late fee and I'm so cheap that I don't want to pay this late fee. So I find if I'm feeling healthy the day before, if I register, then the next day, you know, I'm obligated to go because A, I don't want to pay the late fee and B, I don't want to have taken someone else's spot that maybe was on the wait list and trying to get into the class. The other thing I love about group fitness is there's often challenges. I mean, you always see it uh, for hot yoga, you know, 30 day challenges, spin 30 day challenges. I just did one with F45. These are a great option, especially for someone who's really busy to work it into your schedule you know if you're part of a challenge you're definitely going to feel more motivated to go so as you saw in my video i mean f45 is only 45 minutes there isn't a huge warm-up and there's no cool down or stretching after class so it's really important to be doing that outside of the studio teaching spin again same thing there is maybe one warm-up track but maybe two minutes to stretch afterwards and if you're spinning or going to F45 all the time, then it's something that you need to do on your own time to prevent injury. There is a little bit of extra work required outside of the studio, but I think it's it's definitely worth it if you can fit it into your schedule. All right, well, it's time for me to go get my kids from preschool. The cold snap in Calgary continues. I just checked my phone. It's still minus 44 with the wind chill. I gotta rush out, bring my tots home, and we're gonna hunker down for the night, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.